Have you ever seen a hamster yawn and been actually freaked out by those massive incisors? Well, don't worry. Today, we're gonna be covering everything about your hamster's teeth. To start, hamsters have 16 teeth in total. Pretty crazy, right? Where do they even hide the rest of them? Well, hamsters have two upper and two lower incisors, and these are the main teeth that you're going to notice. These four teeth are constantly growing because they have open roots. And because hamsters are rodents who in the wild would constantly be chewing on things that would continue to keep their teeth worn down, if they didn't have teeth that constantly grew, eventually they would wear their teeth out until they had no teeth. The rest of their teeth are located near their cheek pouches, and these are called molars that have closed roots. There are 12 of these, and usually because of how small they are, you typically aren't going to be able to spot them, though sometimes if your hamster yawns, you may be able to catch a glimpse of them. Another thing that you may notice is that a hamster's teeth typically are orange or yellow in color instead of that pearly white. So does this mean your hamster's in serious need of some teeth brushing? No. The orange color is actually a special enamel that helps to protect your hamster's teeth. In fact, if you notice your hamster has white teeth, this could be a sign that the teeth have been damaged or that they are lacking in nutrition. Did you know their front incisors are also capable of moving? This is also because they are open-rooted, so if you notice, your hamster's teeth may sometimes have a gap in them and then other times they are pretty close together. This is completely normal. Here you may notice in this clip of Dipper yawning, you can actually see the front incisors slowly move wider and then back closer together. Okay, so how do you know when your hamster's teeth are overgrown? Many may panic when they see their hamster's bottom teeth for the first time because they look way too big for their mouth. But I can assure you that the bottom teeth should always be two to three times the length of the top teeth. Now, if you start to notice they're looking longer than that or they're starting to curl or become misaligned, that's probably a sign that they're gonna have to get trimmed. For a long time, many would suggest just clipping the teeth themselves with just a pair of nail clippers, but this is extremely dangerous for someone untrained to try. For one, you are dealing with the mouth and can easily injure your hamster's tongue or even their gums. And two, clipping the teeth like that also has a risk of shattering your hamster's teeth. Therefore, it's best to take your hamster to your local exotic vet to have them file down your hamster's teeth, and this prevents the risk of their teeth shattering. For many, your hamster should be okay throughout their lifetime without having any teeth issues, as long as they do have hard materials inside of their enclosure to chew on and hard foods in their diet like seeds and grains. What happens if my hamster's tooth breaks? A tooth break may happen for many reasons. Sometimes it is unpreventable. Thankfully, because the front teeth are constantly always growing, if your hamster does end up breaking one of their front teeth, as long as they are continuing to eat and drink as normal, the tooth should continue to grow back to how it was before. But of course, if you are still worried, talking to your local exotic vet can help you decide what is best to do. And that should pretty much sum up everything about your hamster's teeth. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.